So this is the Iris Plus from 3D Robotics and I'm going to give you my feedback on it so far. Um, first of all, why did I go with 3D Robotics instead of DJI? Everybody goes with DJI. DJI, it's everywhere. They're the GoPro of quadcopters and that's not a good thing. Um, GoPro kind of dominated the market and they kind of, it was kind of a gold rush type of thing. Action cameras were very, very popular. So a lot of people were getting on, getting into it. A lot of companies wanted to get that money. So you got rush products, a lot of problems with the GoPros. Uh, customer service was really horrible and yet they were dominating as far as marketing. So you see them everywhere and they became kind of a household name. That is what uh, DJI has been. And you know, they're dominating as far as marketing. Household name, you associate them with quadcopters is what you think about a DJI. Most people don't even know about 3D Robotics. Maybe you know about Parrot because they do a lot of advertising online, but still DJI is the most common name. However, right now the, the market is very, very um, young right now, very immature right now. It's very, you know, build it, sell it, build it, sell it. They're not spending a lot of time and uh, thought into these devices. I don't want to, you know, put down all the achievements of what these things can do. It is pretty amazing. However, I don't feel like any of them are complete products. Um, they're just kind of rushed to market. Let's make some money. However, 3D Robotics is not as big as DJI, so they can't do that as much as DJI because they really need to stand out. DJI already has the name recognition. 3D Robotics does not, at least not in the mainstream, and they're trying to get into that a little bit. They're in Best Buy and things like that. So they have to step things up a little bit more. However, still feel like this is an incomplete product, just like all the other quadcopters, but I felt this was one of the better ones to go with. A uh, lot of flyaway stories with DJI's. Don't want to deal with a flyaway. Um, I'm hearing bad customer service with them, just like GoPro before. So I definitely don't want to mess with that either. Um, Parrot, I'm hearing a lot of bad stories about Parrot. A lot of bad stories about Parrot. Have you heard about Parrot? I've heard a lot of bad stories about Parrot. So I didn't go with Parrot. So it was basically Parrot on the bottom, then DJI, and then 3D Robotics. So I went with 3D Robotics. Not only am I hearing less problems with their products, but also um, I'm hearing that the customer service is great. That's one of the big problems with DJI. People are saying customer service is horrible. I did have some customer service issues with, with 3D Robotics, but I did get through to them. They did respond to me, they sent me emails. Emails were not the best, you know, they didn't get into all the details that they should have. It wasn't as clear as it should be, but they did get back to me in a timely manner. I did get what I needed. Um, and compared to what I'm hearing from DJI, I can't really complain. It's, uh, as far as flying it, it's easy to fly. It's very smart. Uh, it can maintain its altitude, it can hover. Um, you got safe modes where it can return to home. You can mission plan, go here, go there, you know, lots of great stuff. And stay tuned for a lot more right on this channel.